to chat what's caught our eye and we're joined by Carla Andrews and Martin Hunt. Guys, thank you very much for joining us. Now, it's a bit of a Friday night travel special and we're starting with Glasgow Airport. Airport link, yep. isn't that right, Carla? What's what's the chat here? Yep, so basically there's been proposals submitted that it'll link Glasgow Airport with Paisley. Mm -hmm. Um cost eighty million pounds and can be finished within I think it's twelve months, they say. Um there's a second proposal though that basically would link Glasgow City Centre via Paisley to Glasgow Airport. Higher cost and there might be trams involved. Trams. Yeah. <laughs> so there's two options. This yeah. is the this is the much talked about Glasgow Airport Rail Link. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, Martin, you obviously being from Edinburgh have tram experience. Well, uh, if they use the system that's going to have trams in it, they're already saying that it's going to be two, uh, 2005, uh, 2025, 2025 yeah. before it's going to be complete. Uh, talking hundreds of thousands of pounds. Um, it, 144 yeah, million pounds, pounds is the cost yeah, yeah. for that tram. So it's option, just yeah. ridiculous that they're, they're even considering trams. I, you know, why think in terms of uh, putting tram system in that it's going to take 10 years to even get mm. anywhere near it, whereas there's an opportunity for them to, to do one, which is one point one miles long is going to take four minutes from Paisley. I mean, the reality yeah. is that yeah, when we had the when we had the tram system put into Edinburgh, obviously not one person on the in yeah. Edinburgh Council had ever been on the train to to, to Stirling, and they would know that the train line goes up along the end of the runway. Trains are absolutely superb. The train yeah. link to Paisley is great yeah. getting out of town. So yeah. make it. One of the options, the, the one Cheaper with the, the automated system from yeah. Glasgow Airport to PRT, yeah, the PRT would, involve, yeah. move, would involve moving St James uh, Station as, as well, I believe. Oh, yeah. sorry, um, yeah, it would cre involve creating a new but station, it's a new station called yeah. St James. Yeah, and that, and that, but there's also going to be park and ride there as well. It's yeah. it's it's joined up right again. Yeah. Congratulations, Glasgow and your councillors for fight, for thinking of something that is actually going to benefit the community. Yeah, put more yeah. options to the table. We'll move quickly on, Martin, and good news for the fourth rail bridge. Yes, it is. It's going become an icon. It's, going, it's been <laughs> voted the, the top um, uh, architectural um, pilgrimage, pilgrimage uh, mm -hmm. destination in Scotland, which I think is actually amazing compared to Edinburgh Castle, you know, the Kelpies. Yeah, I was quite surprised uh, about that, uh, actually. Uh, I thought Edinburgh Castle probably would have been a bit up there for a man-made structure. Uh, well, yeah, that's true. When, when, yeah. you, when you think that, you know, it's been built with, it hasn't been built with Chinese steel as the new bridge has been mm. built with oh. Chinese steel. <laughs> Controversial. <laughs> 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 no, really. You know, I have to just, just <laughs> make sure we press the boundaries that's a little bit. Works, yeah. But there it is. You know, there is a fantastic piece of British engineering with British steel that's lasted and has become an yeah, icon. Yeah. So let, let's let's celebrate these wonderful yeah. things that we've. And whoever's got that painting job tourism. for that bridge yeah. as well, they, are, they must be coining it and raking yeah, it and painting that bridge yeah, back definitely. and forth every year. Great um, to see people coming. Yeah, guys, thank you very much for joining for joining us at this party. We're going to chat about. Um, yeah. Drone deliveries, takeaway deliveries later in the show. <laughs> <laughs> so last night on the show we were with His Royal Highness the Earl of Wessex in Glasgow and today... Carla and Martin oh. still sitting down. Wow. How about this? There you go. Oh, I say, big mustache. Yeah, we got a wee bit carried away with the sorry. We've been enjoying our, our decoration there. Pick them out if you want to put them in a wee yeah, bag. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I, I did see you washing your hands, you see, after you'd been holding the... the yeah, the dragon, dragon thing. thing. Yeah. <laughs> sorry. There we go. Honestly, I was, con I was convinced yeah. they told me it was an egg when they, uh, they first came in. <laughs> yeah, oh, anyway, right, yeah, this, this looks in, absolutely delicious. Yeah. Well done. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, Fantastic. And is that something that's on the menu at the finish? Yes, it is. Um, you can get it. We change our menu um, every week. Oh, yikes. Sort of Keep to you on your toes. <laughs> yeah, just a wee bit. Mm. So it's to what we can get, not what we want to use more yeah. than anything. Very nice. That hake is lovely. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Right. It's the so hake with the wheat flour is nice. Mm. Yep. Well, it has a crochetti and everything. The, the veg is amazing. It's yeah. great. Mm. Really well, it's good. So nice good. and thin. Fish is such an extremely good product to have. And yes. We've yeah. got such good fish in Scotland. Yeah. And I, yeah, I think that you know, helping kids to understand yeah, where the fish comes yeah. from and that's the thing. It's yeah. absolutely Cheap. delicious, um, Scott. So now, if you don't fancy cooking this weekend, <laughs> you fancy <laughs> maybe phoning something in, yeah. um, there's a different way to get your, your takeaway now, apparently. Mm -hmm. Carla. Drone. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Drone. Yeah. That's it. There's the answer. Yep. Amazon did it, and now a local takeaway, um, a Chinese restaurant, are now offering, well, hope to be offering, um, takeaway service for your drone. 
That's right. So this is a chap who's in Elgin. Elgin, yep. right? Yeah. And he's got, but he's got to apply for um, CAA authority to be able to have his drones. Yeah, to, get, have to get the license. And I think, I think the thing is that if everybody has drones and every restaurant has, there'll be there'll be air, there'll be mid-air crashes. No, <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Traffic you have traffic lights up, so up, up in the air. I mean, it's phone. ridiculous. Where, where yeah. is my chicken satay? On uh, fortunately, it's been involved in a drone crash. <laughs> <laughs> but it, and it can't get to within 164 feet of your house anyway. Anyway, because you can't land a drone unless it's a, a, mm. in a distance of less than 164 feet. Sure. Yeah, sure so what's the point? If you live in a flat. Because I saw the oh, Amazon one true. and they land it in your back garden. Yeah. Well, that's what they've said uh, here. They so could only deliver if you've got a garden. Oh, that's a bit discriminative. The, yeah, do yeah. you think this is the way forward, though? No? I think good old just order your takeaway oh, and phone in. Scott, do you think this would take off? Well, not so much. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> We're not starting that anytime soon at no. the finish, I don't think. No. I think it would be lovely. I mean, when I lived up on the Black Isle, I think it would be great to have it brought over from Inverness. You know, <laughs> there, that, that would save <laughs> half an hour. Thank you very much. I know, Scott, this is delicious. Enjoy your weekend, Jess. Thank you very much. Now, at 30 on this channel, we have our entertainment show E on STV. But tonight, Jerry and Laura have been biffed for special presenters at none other than Gary Tank Commander. Uh, this is true. Yeah. Gary. Yeah.